Is it as good as Spinal Tap? The answer is no. Very smartly reinvented a franchise, and who thought that was possible? It does the thing that cinema is meant to do at its very best, to completely immerse you, to transport you, to take you to another world. Words of Wisdom. The Film Review. Friday at 5.45 on the BBC News Channel. Tonight at 10, two arrests are made following the hostage taking in Texas by a man from Blackburn. Malik Faisal Akram was shot dead by police at the scene after a 10 hour standoff at a synagogue. In Manchester today, police arrested two teenagers as friends of the attacker said he should never have been allowed to leave the UK. If there was mental health issues, why did he go in the first place? Are there people looking after him? Or why did he fly out? In Texas, the rabbi, who was one of the four taken hostage, has been describing what happened. I heard a click, and it could have been anything, and it turned out that it was his gun. We'll have the latest on the FBI investigation in Texas and the corresponding police activity in Blackburn. Also tonight, Boris Johnson's former advisor, Dominic Cummings, says the Prime Minister was warned about that Downing Street party at the height of lockdown. The Culture Secretary freezes the BBC licence uh, for two years. She claims it's to help household budgets and not a political attack on the corporation. We simply could not justify putting extra pressure on the wallets of hard-working households. And one of the great wartime mysteries who betrayed the family of Anne Frank to the Nazis? A new investigation offers an answer. And coming up in the sport on the BBC News Channel, Back to the Future, Everton contact the Belgian FA as they make a move for their former manager, Roberto Martinez. Good evening. Two days after the hostage-taking incident at a synagogue in Texas, 